movie lovers and welcome to CML Theater Movie Review. Hello everybody, how you doing? Hopefully you guys are staying out of trouble, not out there causing trouble, but hopefully you're out there kicking it with your families and spreading love throughout the world as the world do need love. But right now we are definitely living in the end times. Things are at an all time end. You can't find anything. You can't go to the market, you can't find anything, you can't go online and find anything. People are losing their shit. The whole world is going upside down. But we're not here to talk about all that. See that right there should have been a review. 2020 should just be a review, but I'm not here to review that. I'm here to review the new Netflix series, Ju-On Origins. Um, just here to give you my opinion on it. Uh, it's really good. It's better than majority of the grudge films that they put out because, like, when you try to match the the grudge with Juon, there are two different scenarios. At least Juon is actually scary, which when you watch the grudge, it's kind of funny, but it just got that creepy feeling with it too. But watching this series, let me tell you. I've seen the trailer like way before it even came out and then once uh, it came out on the third on Netflix once I've seen it me and my wife watched it last night let me tell you there's so many disturbing scenes in this series that I grabbed them off a lot of times because I could not believe what the hell happened. Other than that, the story is so rich, it's so well told, it's really good. I don't care what nobody say about this series. This series was well done and well acted as well. And you you truly get into every single character that's in the series as well. And that's what I loved about it. It was just so well written, man. The story is just amazing. But then it also has its creepy moments as usual. You know how the grudge usually get down. I mean, Juwan, not the grudge. I don't want to get that mixed up. You know how it is when you watch Juwan and then you have the build up and then you know when people walk into the house the house um, end up leeching itself onto you so basically holding the grudge against you for walking inside of it but the thing I love about this series was it didn't do the confusing thing that the first, uh, no, that last grudge film did where they m mixed up the timeline so much that you did not know what timeline you was in they broke down the years um, they broke down in the same, they kept the same characters, but you really grow with the characters within six episodes, which is that's really hard to do, and it's hard to for most directors and writers to even put together in a film. So, yet alone while watching this joint, let me tell you, it is really good. Do not take don't don't take the negative side of it. Look at it from go into it with no expectations and watch it and truly allow yourself to get into the story. I got so immersed into the story that I wanted more, even though I was upset that they only did six episodes. It made you want more episodes, which I'm hoping to God they do a season two. But if you really want to watch something that's really creepy, that's good storytelling and very disturbing, this is your joint. And let's get this joint a rating, shall we? I give this series two thumbs up and a big ass smiley face. Oh yeah. So, Juan, did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Let me know. Don't forget to leave comments down below. And also, don't forget to share this video because I really need you guys to support CML Entertainment. We've been doing this for a long time. Um, just giving you guys good horror after good horror. And I think that this is one of the best J-horrors in a while that we have been getting. Even though I'm still waiting on Train in Busan 2. Which I haven't seen too much on that. And this series was so good that it made me want to do a video on it. That's how good this series is. Even though there's a lot of shit films out there. So it's very rare that I really pick stuff out to review. But this series was so good that I had to rev up the camera. And let you guys know to check that joint out. It is really good. It was way better. If you if you hated the last grudge film. Then you're going to like Jew on Origins. It's really good. And I like that. They didn't want to go towards the grudge situation. They stuck with the Juon stories. And that's what I like what they've done with it. Which really, like, done everything for me. I mean, my expectations. I didn't go in it with expectations. But after getting out of the damn show, I truly enjoyed it. So, don't forget to check it out. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know what you think about Juon Origins. Because I told you what I thought about it. Awesome writing. Very disturbing. And it's really good and creepy. I can't rule out that. I can't rule that out because it does have some creepy moments, and then some moments make you laugh a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. It just it's just the way some of the CGI is, but it did look creepy at the same time. So it's kind of you kind of like like yeah, oh shit, what why it look like that? So you know you do have those moments in this film. So <laughs> definitely check it out. And to all my movie lovers, keep it scary. 
Just not too goddamn scary because we already living in some end shit. Keep it scary as far as watching scary stuff with your families and loved ones and keep Jesus in your heart because we all need him. And to all my movie lovers, keep it scary. I love you. But, the story of 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 the story